Welcome back to the tavern as we're back at it doing another brand new review. So hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Another new Belgium here drink for you guys. It is a honey orange triple Belgian style ale brewed with wild African honey and fresh ground Seville orange peels. Bottled and conditioned. 10% alcohol. That is huge for an ale, I think. Uh, or at least for the ones that we've had recently. Um, on the side it says a deliciously sweet and citrusy traditional Belgian style ale fermented with wild honey from the African Bronze Honey Company and fresh ground Seville orange peels sourced locally from Old Town Spice Shop Fort Collins, Colorado. Brewed and bottled by the New Belgian Brewing Company in Fort Collins. Serve 50 to 55 degrees. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's go ahead and open it. It is not a twist top. Uh, and top, top. I kind of want to keep the top on this one, so I'm trying not to bend it too much. Yeah. I'll buy more. Yeah. All that color. You can definitely tell the orangeness in that. The honey that they use in there is really bright and dense. The orange peel is definitely extracted into it really heavy, too. The nose is so sweet. Honestly, you get a very light zestiness from the orange peel, but I'm mostly getting a lot of that honey smell out of that. But, cheers. Wow. That is like super Swedish but kind of um, hoppy on the back end. But I think that's kind of more from the zestiness of the, uh, pine, the orange. I said pineapple. That is so good. There's like this weird sweet taste on the back end, kind of the aftertaste. It's slightly dry, but it's really um, almost tart, really. It's almost tart, like a tart aftertaste. And I guess it's coming from, like, the orange, but that honey is also, like, really in there. You can kind of get a little bit of, like, a sticky on the palate, um, kind of thick. That is so and I can't really give you a price of how much it was. I built my own six pack for $11.50. So if you were to look it down, just a tad under $2 a bottle. So it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Now, the more you drink on it, though, the more the back of that palate seems to want to like build up. Uh, camera's got a lot of blue going on for some reason. I can almost see it in my face. Um, the orange really holds strong over top of almost all of it, but the strongest like hint is at the back end. It's not the initial taste or the initial flavor. It's really the back of the palate. And it kind of lingers around kind of, I'd like to say, I don't know. I don't know, it's really hard to say. I mean, with it definitely being a Belgium style, it's different than any other that I've tried. And it also says Belgium Reserve, so. Yeah. That's so good. I could drink several of these, but at 10% alcohol, those will get you going. Hit that like button, guys. Comment, subscribe, become part of the huge family support every single day with donors and knowledge. But most importantly, I buy it so you guys don't have to, and I try it so you guys don't have to. So, till later, till next time, till always, I'm Justin. Welcome to the tavern, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Another brand new review. As always, we have a bunch to do. We got a lot to catch up on. We got some harvest drinks coming. Hope you're ready. But, guys, you know what to do.
notification bell lets you know when we do go live then when we post videos we go live every monday wednesday friday we post a brand new review every tuesday thursday saturday and sunday y'all have a blessed rest of your weekend drink one for me birthday weekend hey let's turn up for it my birthday's coming up it's on the tuesday all right but we're gonna be doing a stream hopefully monday for it but you're gonna have to hit that notification bell and sub to find out but i love you guys and i will see you guys next time